Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to learn UART communication using STM32F401RE and we will generate UART communication code using STM32CubeMX for a KL Microvision project. You know, this board have a UART on board also and it supports virtual communication. That's when there is a virtual COM port there on the board and that is connected with the UART2 and UART2 pins are the PA2 and the PA3. So let's get start with this project. Click on the new project and select our board. And of course that is a Nucleo 64 board and F4 series board. This is the first one. 401RE and uh, you can see here the details of this board just click on ok just wait for a few seconds it will load a new window where we will set the configuration so before we set the configuration first clear all the pins and then we need to set the RCC that is communication sorry uh, RCC is a clock configuration and uh, clock configuration external crystal oscillator is connected with the PH0 and the PH1 and then we need to set the UART2 into the asynchronous mode. You see PA2 and the PA3 has been highlighted here and then come to the clock configuration and it is already has been uh, enabled at 84 megahertz and then come to the configuration and click on UART configuration we do not need interrupt here and into the parameter settings let's set baud rate 9600 and here you this is the baud rate defined 642 bit per second to 2.625 megabit per second you can set your baud rate word length is 8 bit including pair t and there is no pair t and one stop bit okay so just click on ok and for the RCC select the RCC global interrupt and leave other things as it is we do not need to disturb any other things okay so now generate the code for before generating code we need to give the project name let's give it UART2 okay and the generation tool chain ARM MDK version 5 and code generator will only copy the necessary library files to your project okay then click on ok it will generate a code open your project when you open your project in application and user there are three files main and interrupt files and HAL MSP so here uh, let's uh, transfer some data into our computer via virtual COM port. So here we need to first define a user variable that's mean a buffer which uh, UART will transfer to the computer. So we can transfer it uint8. We can define it uint8. Let's say buff tx of size 10. Okay. hello new line with carriage return so it is uint buff tx and uart handle type is handle of uart2 and uh, now we need to add some extra code at this line so we, we, we do not know which type of uh, functions we need to add here so we can go here into the function and then click on UART.C and then it will expand all the functions which is available to use which is available to use in this code and uh, here only we need to transfer uh, here only we need to transfer that buffer to the computer so we need here this HAL UART transmit ok HAL underscore UART underscore transmit 
and first of all that we need to set a handle of UART2 okay and then address of the data which we want to send into the computer that is the buff TX and I don't know why it is giving error handle of UART2 that is fine that is correct no problem okay and uh, very next one buff tx and after that we need size of the data which we want to send that is the 10 byte and the timeout let's set 100 millisecond and now let's give some delay here how delay let's give a delay of 200 millisecond that's it what we need to set here and then compile our code here in this function you can see a system clock configuration has been initialized and here the UART2 has been initialized and here the GPIO initialization has been done especially the clock of the GPIO A and H ok now let's uh, load our code click on load you can monitor here it is programmed now let's see into the terror term see here it is sending hello see ok so here we have a uh, center string to the computer but suppose that if you want to send uh, some float variable let's say float uh, uh, float value ok float value is equal to the 0 0.3 so here we are going to use a printf function generally which we used into the C coding so for the printf function we need to write a GNU supported code so what we can do here uh, we can write our own code so here we have added an extra code which will support GNU printf type of function so if it defines GNU C then has defined put car prototype ok and if it is not defined then also define a put car prototype but into the F put C mode ok so first, first of all that we need to define these codes and then add an extra function put car prototype function which will transmit the code and uh, the variable ch will be defined here is defined here which will transfer the data uh, via HAL UAR transmit to the computer ok so now as we have defined value as a float and here now we need to send our float ok so what we can do we can delete it and we can add here extra function let's say printf ok you can say float value is equal to let's say it is a percent f ok and it is value and let's increase value let's increase value by some floating point numbers randomly you can set anything it ok and let's compile it so here zero error and uh, one warning and the warning that is uh, created by at this particular point that is converge, converting a single precision implicitly into the double precision but no problem ok just load it and into the terra term you can see here now the floating point value is being transmitted into the computer so if we give new line and the carriage return and compile it and then again upload it to the board and after that you can see here it will come into the new line you can see here float value is increasing here every 
time. Now you can see the float value is coming almost four five uh, into the four to five decimal values, but we can define it here. What we can do? We can let's say the four point two f, okay, and then compile it and then again load it. Now four integer and two decimal values will come here. See and all other values has been discarded after the decimal only two decimal values and four integer values is being allowed to send to the computer so this using this printf functions you can really code this microcontroller into the gale like a c coding so thank you for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for the next one and for more video tutorials subscribe this channel thanks